For the last 10 years, I have wanted a set of American Force wheels, and I've wanted a new truck to put them on. This has been a dream of mine for literally a decade. I have spent the last decade working my ass off, starting side businesses, working on the rigs, getting a journeyman in mechanics, all this stuff. Now I work at a mine while I do a YouTube channel, while I have a side business doing a shop. Anyways, it's finally paid off. It's finally paid off, because look at this. I got American Force Nemesis 24 by 14 uh, concave with 33 by 14 and a half Venom Terror Hunter XT tires. So I want to see, I just put one on, as you can see. I just finished actually doing the exhaust on this truck. So the shop's a mess, but I couldn't wait because they're in the shop right now and I had the camera, so I'm like, might as well film this. So just look at it from the front though. Tires are basically straight ahead. And that's how much stance we got. Like, holy shit. So anyways, I wanna see how much rubbing will actually happen and what I have to do to make these wheels fit. Truck is a 2022 Ram 3500, completely bone stock suspension wise. Uh, my plan is to actually reverse level the back. So drop the back a little bit to level it and then just run these gangster ass wheels. Oh. This, I'm just, I'm so pumped right now. I'm so excited. So anyways, I'm gonna turn it to full lock on both sides and we'll see what happens. Okay, turning it all the way to the left. It's actually, so obviously you turn the steering wheel all the way till it maxes out and then it comes back a little bit. So this is where we're sitting right now. There is just a sliver of room. It doesn't look like I'm gonna have to trim this valence at all. If anything, I would just space this front bumper out like half an inch and that's probably all I need to do. Cause if I look at it right now, like that's full turn and I still have a little bit of room. Obviously if I go up like a curb or something, going onto an approach, whatever, hit a bump, it's gonna rub. So if I could just space this bumper forward a little bit, that's probably all I need. Now I'm gonna turn it to the right and we'll see the back part cause that's what I'm really worried about. That's full lock, okay, okay, okay. This actually might not be as bad as I thought. Obviously, this mud flap's gonna have to go, and it's damn close to touching the running board, which I'm taking off anyways. But if I take off this mud flap and running board, it might not be so bad. Since these wheels are concave, they're actually a negative 90 offset, so they are ridiculous. So I'm gonna take off the mud flap, I'm gonna take off the running boards, and then we'll see, we'll see how it is. All right, that's a way cleaner look anyways. Let's see what happens now. Wow. So I can see here it rubbed a little bit right at full lock. That is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Holy smokes. So uh so there you go. That's with it at full lock to the right, but then obviously it kind of springs back a little bit. So yeah, and I can fit my finger through there. So now you kind of know what to expect if you're gonna put wheels like this on your fifth gen. I believe fifth gens have more space in the wheel wells than a fourth gen. That's what I heard. So is that true? I don't know. But yeah, I think what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna get a spacer for the front bumper so I can push that front bumper out just like half an inch. And that should be totally fine there. And then for the back, I don't know because I'm gonna to have to trim that fender a little bit. I'm gonna drive it and see, and I'll let you guys know when I drive it how bad it really is. One thing I will mention is these guys here, these little kind of washer things that hold the, the rotor on, make sure you rip those off because if you look at the factory wheels, they have actual holes here, like they, they match up flush on here, but then it's indented here so they can account for it. But if you look at pretty much any aftermarket wheel, like this one, it's just totally flat. So if you 
if you leave those on, you're gonna have like basically a washer here, 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 and here, and then these ones aren't gonna be actually touching the rotor. So just make sure you get rid of those stupid, annoying, locking things, because you don't need them. Okay, they're all on. I did notice this here. If you actually unscrewed, well this one's still not in because the mud flap was in it, but I'm gonna put that bolt back in. But anyways, there's one little bolt here, and then this bottom plastic piece just pops off. So I'm not gonna do it right now because I wanna break it, but yeah, you just pop it off this way. And then if it's rubbing right here, that would at least eliminate a little bit down there. Could you try again? Oh, Siri's talking to me. But yeah, that would eliminate a I'm little. Not sure I Siri, stop! So yeah, if you took this little bottom part off, you could actually get a little bit more without doing any trimming. So just, just a suggestion. Yeah, I'm super pumped. I'm gonna go drive this thing. It's dark out right now, like it's, it's like 10.30 at night. So I'm gonna drive this thing home and then tomorrow I will do a video. Well, tomorrow I'll go drive this thing and tell you how much it actually rubs. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, I'm just gonna drive forward here and show you how bad it rubs. It's actually not terrible. If I go to the left here, it's actually, like I feel it rubbing, but I think it's rubbing on the other side. I don't know if it's rubbing there. Is it rubbing? No? A little bit? But the, but the front is where it really rubs. In reverse, it rubs more for some reason. I haven't really understood that. But if I go backwards here, there, it's like, it's rubbing on the other side. So yeah, it's planted right there in the front bumper. That's 24 by 14s with a negative 90 offset on a stock ram uh, three quarter ton or one ton would be the same without any leveling kit or anything. So driving, it's actually not horrible. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But I'd say that if you're moving forward, you have probably like close to 80% of your turning radius. And like right here, I'm kind of going around a tight corner, but I still made it, rubbed a little tiny bit. Um, but then in reverse, you have like, maybe half before it starts rubbing. So I have a two and a half inch Carly backcountry leveling kit that just got here that I'm gonna be putting on probably tomorrow. And then hopefully it doesn't rub after that. And if it does rub, the only thing I think I'll have to do is space the front bumper forward. But I don't think I'm gonna to have to space the front bumper once it's lifted. So wish me luck. Okay, I did end up putting this Carly two and a half inch lift on. It rides awesome. I will be doing a video on that later on. I got it from CJC Off-Road, so definitely check them out if you wanna do anything for your truck suspension wise. These Carly lifts are amazing. But even with the two and a half inch lift, you can see here's where it was rubbing before on the bumper, and now it's rubbing on the valence. It's not horrible, but it's rubbing a little bit. So I could fairly easily trim this, but I like the look of it and I don't wanna hack it off. So I am gonna be buying one of those a bumper spacer kits that pushes the front bumper half an inch forward. So I'm not sure when it's gonna be here, but for now I'm just gonna drive the truck like it is. And like I said, you can definitely drive it the way it is with stock suspension, you're just gonna be rubbing a bit. Uh, I think if you had stock suspension and you did that bumper spacer kit, that might be all you need. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Just hope this helps. And if you were looking to do it with similar wheel and tire setup for your vehicle or your Dodge fifth gen, this is what you can expect. So anyways, please like the video, it helps me out a lot. Check out my Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel, and I hope to see you on the next video.